Hey everybody, it's Melissa the Unlikely Hiker. I hope everyone is doing really well today. Today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite sleeping pad that I have found to date. Now, for the past 14, 15 years, I've been using a variety of sleeping pads. And the most recent addition to my gear kit is the Big Agnes Rapide SL. Now, I originally heard about this sleeping pad from Metro on the Move. You should follow him if you don't. He's got great videos. And I was really searching for that IT pad. I was fairly happy with the Nemo Tensor Insulated. Wasn't really a huge fan of my Thermarest X-Therm. I was looking for something a little bit more comfortable and I don't really need the length even of a regular pad. So I've been looking for a sleeping pad that checked off certain boxes. I didn't want a pad that was too long. At five foot two, I really only need a short length pad. So something that's about 66 inches in length. I don't really need a wide pad, although I wish somebody would make a wide short pad because that would be actually perfect. I wanted it to be thick enough where I could roll around as a everything sleeper and be really comfortable. I am a little bit older, so I need the comfort, especially like for my legs and hips and my shoulders. They tend to get really sore, especially my hips when I'm backpacking and hiking and I get extremely uncomfortable when I first go to bed at night. So I need something that is going to be supportive yet thick enough and comfortable where I'm not gonna bottom out, I'm not gonna be too cold. It's gonna be all around that Goldilocks pad. And I just about found the Goldilocks pad in the Big Agnes Repeat SL. I did get the regular short version. So it's 20 inches wide and 66 inches long. So it comes in at about 19 ounces, I think. I'll have to double check on that. And that's without the included pump sack, which I'll talk about in just a few minutes. I did have a really bad experience with a previous Big Agnes sleeping pad. At that point in time, I didn't realize that Big Agnes does warranty their things, I think for life, but it had a slow leak and I could not find it. It's probably the valve on that one. So at first I was a little hesitant However, I do believe companies learn from their mistakes and I was really hopeful that they kind of corrected the problem with uh, some of their air leakage and some of their pads over the years in this new model. And from what I could read of it last year when I first got it, people didn't really complain about it. So I thought I would take advantage and give it a try. So I'll go over the specs really quick on the sleeping pad first. So the R value on this pad, I think is around four-ish maybe high three, low four, somewhere in that. I'll put it on the screen for you. It's a really good three season pad. It's three and a half inches thick in the middle and on the outside baffles, those are four and a quarter inches. So it kind of cradles you in there, which is really nice. This pad does have vertical baffles. It's a nylon double ripstop. I'm really not sure what that means. It has Primaloft silver insulation and also a reflective barrier also with it to help keep it insulated and warm. It has a high volume valve. I can use it with the flex tail gear pump, although it doesn't fit perfectly. And it has a separate deflate valve. I'm not in love with that particular feature, but it does work fine. And it has a little micro valve on the inside of the inflation valve so that you could let a little bit of air out just to make sure that it's as comfortable as you need it to be. It does include an inflation sack and a stuff sack. So what I absolutely love about this sleeping pad is almost it's everything that I want in a sleeping pad and nothing I don't. Like I said, I was looking for something thick enough that I wasn't gonna bottom out, something thick enough where it was gonna be supportive and comfortable, especially for my hips. I did not want it to be very heavy. I did not want extra material or extra length in the sleeping pad taking up unnecessary space and weight in my pack either. I did need it to function for a minimum of three seasons. If I did pair this with a closed cell foam pad, I might be able to take it into winter conditions, but some of the really freezing cold temperatures that we get here in the Northeast, I'm not sure that would really work. I should try and see, cause I'm really curious to know, um, even if I double stacked 
maybe the closed cell foam pad, it might get me into winter conditions, but I don't do a ton of winter camping, so I wasn't overwhelmingly concerned about that. One of the things that I love the most about this pad is it comes in a short length. Wide short should also actually be a thing because a lot of women are not very tall. Even for kids, this is a good sleeping pad for kids. It's not a delicate fabric either. You know, my dog walks all over it, no issues. I don't have to worry about it. I also have an Uber Light, which is eight ounces, which is a lot, you know, less than half the weight of this one, but I almost never use it, especially with her because she's just gonna pop that thing. That is extremely delicate. And that one I only use in very particular situations. So what do I love about this pad? It's warm enough for at least three seasons. If I throw a, one or two closed cell foam pads into it, I might be able to extend it into winter season. It's a very durable fabric. It's very thick. It's not gonna pop easily. It came in a length that worked for me, the short version, which is 66 inches long. There's not too much fabric. It inflates and deflates really easy and it's extremely comfortable. So almost the unicorn of sleeping pads, if it was a wide 25 inch, short 66 inch length that would actually be the unicorn of pads and maybe i'd say three or so ounces lighter would actually be perfect dude this is the most noisy ass development ever i'm really apprehensive about cutting a sleeping pad down to length like my nemo insulated um I just, I spent a lot of money on it and I really don't want to have to do that if I can avoid it. So is there anything that I don't like about this pad? Well, it doesn't exactly roll up the smallest. It's almost, it's the height of like a Nalgene and it's a little bit thicker. But like I said, I don't actually put it into my pack like this. So that's really not an issue. So when I'm using it, I don't actually include the stuff sack at all. I leave that home. I fold it and I put it in the bottom part of my backpack and then I start shoving everything else inside of it. The other thing that I don't like about it, but it really has nothing to do with the pad itself, is this inflation sack that they send you. So what they do with this is they actually use remnants of other sleeping pads, I guess, to go ahead and make this. Um, I don't know if they coat it with something on the inside. No clue. but. It works good enough. This snaps over the inflation nozzle and then you just catch the air and roll it up and push the air in. This thing weighs, it feels like a ton, but it weighs more than my Flextail pump. So I don't bother. I just, I don't carry this at all. And I've had other inflation sacks that are bigger. I feel like this one would actually take a little bit longer because it's big, but it's not huge. So yeah, I'll just put that away now because I don't use it. So I really have been very impressed with this sleeping pad. The comfort really is out of control. This is the first sleeping pad that I've used where I really do feel like I'm sleeping in my own bed. Pair that with a super supportive pillow, I'm golden. My last Big Agnes pad was in fact this comfortable, but like I said, it leaked. So I replaced it pretty quick and was just sad. And I really should contact them and see if they can do something about that. I just haven't done it yet. So anyway, over the more than half a dozen sleeping pads I have used over the years, hands down by far, this one is my favorite. That's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're getting out and living your life. Summer's, uh, yeah, it's gonna end before you know it. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you got any value out of this video, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you out on the trail. Bye-bye.